little dark. I almost want to... almost tempted to turn up the gamma a little bit for the stream. <clears throat> we had to do that when we played Resident Evil uh, 3. On the, um... When we put it in the PS2. Yeah, look how dark this is. Now watch this. Look at that. So much better. Here's it dark. Can't see much. And here's it again. So, I think we're ready to play. I think we're ready to play. That was the one thing that bothered me the whole time, was just like, ah, I can't see. But now we can. Let's try that. See how that fares. Oh, it is dark in here. Can't see. Yeah. Seriously can't see shit. Gamma is horrible, too. Ah, oh, this is horrible. Where am I? Okay, I somehow made it up the stairs. All right, I'm sorry. I'll turn the turn it gamma down so it's not blinding. But he turned on the lights. So dark. Dark. Alright. Where is it? Where's, where's my display capture? I can't see it. Damn thing. Right, this is. Turn that up a little. Temporarily, maybe I can see where I'm going, or did I just make that worse? I don't know. This is this looks horrible. Yeah, see, e even even underwater, it's like. All right, I, I I see Mr. Squid Face. Wait a minute, and okay, there's lights. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're having a hard time with this game right now because uh, it's so dark. It's hard to see. The camera angle is moving so fast in the dark, not knowing where to go is kind of making me a little nauseous. Definitely don't want to cut this stream short, but I legit am having a hard time focusing because it's dark. I actually want to take a break, mess with the settings, and even test a few things to see if there's a way to play this game without the HDMI cable that I got. Alright guys, so as you can tell, I was having a little trouble today trying to play Soul Reaver 2 using a Hyperkin HDMI cable the PlayStation 2. The problem that I kept running into, as you can see, was it, the games are just really dark. And if you have a game like Soul Reaver 2 where it's really, really dark, really hard to see, I kept trying to up the gamma, I kept trying to up the brightness, no matter what I did, it just made it worse. So, like I was saying earlier um, in the stream, I wanted to test out my Hoppage PVR 2. That's this box right here. Um, I bought this a long time ago, and it's really useful because you could take old school composite and component cables, plug them directly into the unit, and then HDMI right out into your television, or in this case, my computer, so I can stream. So I decided to test this. I decided to test this. Um, I tried, uh, I have a pair of component cables for the PlayStation, but for some reason the box wasn't reading it properly. So I went digging in my box and I found my old school composite cables for my original PlayStation 2. So I plugged this sucker in and as much as you're going from 1080p graphics, uh, at least 1080p output of the PlayStation through uh, the HDMI cable to 480, uh, the difference was night and day, and you can see that here. Look at that. 
Seriously, just look at that. That is a night and day difference. Like, you can actually see the floor and the ground and the trees. Totally tell that we are in a swamp. Look at that. But yeah, I, it's in a 4x3 ratio now, which is fine. But this is how the PlayStation was originally built. This was how it was originally intended. I'm not very sad that it's not uh, four by, uh, 16 by 9 ratio. I actually think the 4x3 is really cool. We're still playing it on original hardware. We're still playing the original disc. And I being able to see is going to be a big difference in, in terms of like dizziness, nausea, and just the sheer frustration of not being able to see where I'm going. So, but I wanted to give you guys an update that uh, after my stream and after I started feeling better, that I started to do some digging, tried out my my old uh, my old box, and these are the results. So, tune in for some more uh, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver Two next Sunday on Paradigm Gaming's channel.